for something so silly. Alrighty, let's end this with a bang. What'll your verdict be? Who's tonight's villain? Will it be right, or will it be also wrong? Hmm, which could it be? My zone was Leon Kawada. What? Uh, hold on a sec. Kawada. Kawada. You really murdered. My Zona? <gasps> How could you? I I had no choice. I was gonna get killed myself. So so I had to kill her. One wrong move and this could have happened to any of you guys. Mizono just happened to target me! Just my freaking luck! Or, or should I have just sat back and let her kill me? The truth is out. Our answer is correct. But where does that leave us? Rather, I would probably feel a lot better had we been wrong. Because if those inferences are the truth, then it's also the truth that Mizono tried to frame me. And yet, even so, despite it all, Mizono's not at fault. The catalyst for all of this. It's because of that video. Even I was taken aback by what I saw. I can't imagine how affected the victim, my Zono. I'm trapped in this this place, and I can't get out. But my friends, they're waiting. I'm sure they're waiting. I don't... I don't have time for this! Her dream and her friends, which she valued above everything. After seeing her friends like that... My Zono. She... I did whatever I needed to fulfill my dream. Including some bad things. I honestly did whatever it took. That's why, for the sake of her precious friends, My Zono betrayed me. In that case, what My Zono said then... No matter what happens, Nayagi, always stay by my side. From the start, 
Mizona only got close to me. So she could deceive me. So she could use me. I don't... I don't know anymore. I have no way to ask her feelings. Not anymore. Once you're gone, it's all over. So, how about that showbiz? Scary stuff, huh? Killing someone over interpersonal relationships. Yikes! She looks so pretty and so nice. But beneath all that, she was mad like a hatter. What did you say? I get it, I get it. Yeah, yeah. You're drowning in despair at having been betrayed by my Zono, aren't you? Attraction! Affection, compassion. The bigger the sun, the more despair left. Oh, the crap! It's all your fault! What my Zono did? Everything, 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 everything! It's all your fault! Having completely lost myself, I lunged at Monokuma. But. Stop this. Kirigiri grabbed my arm and held it tight. Tight. Tight enough to leave a mark. You should stop now. That is, if you actually want to avenge her. Damn it! Oh, you had me going there. I thought it was gonna get pounded. But I made it out alive, one out. So, the tribe has spoken. You guys found the villain in splendid fashion. So it's time for this round's villain, Leo Kawada, to receive his punishment. P punishment? You you mean execution? Wait a second, please! I had... I had no choice but to kill her! Yeah, it was a genuine case of self-defense. I was just defending myself and it just... What part of your actions could be called legitimate self-defense? When you broke down the shower door lock, you used your own tool set, right? In other words, after she closed herself in the shower, you went all the way back to your dorm and brought back a screwdriver, broke the lock, and finished her off. You had any number of opportunities to end it right then and there. But you didn't take them. You quite obviously intended to kill her. No, that was... Just stop. Just end this facade. Oh dear, are you sure about that? You were the closest to Mizono out of all of us. And your dear Mizono was killed by this man. I don't intend to place all the blame on Kawada. Of course, I don't blame Mizono either. Because it's all his fault. Uh huh. If it wasn't for you, neither Mizono nor Kawada would have ended up like this. Rather than fighting each other, we should be fighting the one who organized all this. Oh goodness gracious! Woken to your sense of justice? Did you know there's nothing in the world as immoral as a sense of justice? It's because we've got all these people flaunting about their justice that war will never end. And you've awoken to that sense of justice? Shut up! Oh, whatevs. More important. Let's get this punishment started. 
Everyone's waiting. I'm begging you. Please stop this. No excuses. Disrupt the order, you suffer the consequences. Bells are society's weakness. Please don't. I've prepared a very special punishment for Leon Kuwata, the super duper high school all star. No, 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 no! Let's get this ball rolling! It's punishment time! No! The scene we bore witness to was despair. If you couldn't call it that, what on earth could you call it? Objective in all this. What's my objective? Talk about a guy like he's an evil secret society. Uh, in this case, wouldn't it be talk about a bear like he's an evil secret society? Ah, why must such an upstanding citizen as myself be subjected to this? you turn something common sense says is impossible into common sense. That's like using a scale to measure length. Well, it's not like you couldn't do it, but... Well, well, I feel like we're not on the same page. God damn it, I don't know who the hell you are, but I'll have your fucking head on a pike! You're so mad! Do you hate me? If you want to hate on someone, you've got the wrong bear, bro. I mean, this murder only happened because you 
you guys want out, didn't it? It's all you guys' fault, because you can't let go of your attachment to the outside world. Uh, of course we can't. I'm just suddenly up and being trapped in this screwed up place. For all the Academy's mysteries, we'll most definitely be thinking. I'm so happy I get to live my whole life here! What? What do you mean by that? There's a lot of meaning buried in your words. Like what you said earlier. Just who is this everyone you speak of? Well, I've said everything I can. It's not as much fun if I don't save some for later. <laughs> and then Monokuma vanished. Leaving us alone in our overwhelming nightmarish reality. Even after Monokuma dismissed us, we stayed in that place, unable to move for some time. No, for some time is probably a huge understatement. I'm positive we are all afraid of being alone. No. No. No one uttered a word. Everyone stood in silence, wearing long contemplative faces. But then... Nayagi, do you have a moment? She walked up beside me and whispered into my ear. Before we go back... There's something I'd like to tell you. About... my Zono? Yes, that's correct. Do you remember what I said to you before the class trial? I said, you must uncover the truth behind this incident yourself, Nayagi. You're trying to make me realize my Zona's betrayal myself? Me, completely unaware I was being deceived, stupidly trusting her while being made a suspect? Yes. My Zono tried to throw you to the wolves. That is an unshakable fact. But she was conflicted all the way to the end. Because of that. She was thinking of you in her last moments. In her last moments? She was thinking of me? Don't say something so baseless. Something nobody can know. There's no longer any way to ask her. Even without asking her, you can still use your logic. My Zono's final thoughts were of how she could save you. Huh? The evidence for that is in the dying message she left with her last remaining strength. She wouldn't have left that message if she didn't care what happened to you. That was probably just her way of getting back at Kawada for killing her. Yes, that is a possibility. However, that's not what I think. She was conflicted. Conflicted about deceiving you, and about killing someone. That is why her plan failed. 
her conflict invited failure. Ironic, isn't it? Why are you telling me this? Because you are a person who can overcome. Because you can overcome the deaths of your friends Mizono and Kuwata and move forward. If that's not what you are, you'll never be able to conquer these extraordinary circumstances. Overcome the deaths of my friends? I can't. I can't do that. I... I will carry that with me for the rest of my life. I won't overcome. My Zono's death and Kawada's death. I will carry those with me forever and ever. And carrying their memories, I will press forward! You've chosen a much, much more difficult road. But I expect you can handle it. She let out a small laugh as she spoke. Hey, Nayagi. While we're here, I'd just like to know. How did you know I wanted to talk to you about my Zono? Uh, that. Because I'm an Esper. What? I'm kidding. It was just a feeling. 